But when I look back, I see, you know, I remember I baked bread with my great aunt Lydia. She was a very deep and, and a spiritual person. Mm -hmm. Well, that was kind of my first introduction to bread. Heinz is, is a soulful, deep person who deeply cares about the earth. He builds um, his soil through crop rotations, compost. He grows flowers for pollinators. He creates ecosystems. We built the menu of Selu based on the model of Heinz's farm and the way he grows. The diversity of crops and the crop locations and the soil building practices. So yeah, you'll see that. You'll see products like millet chocolate chip cookies, sorghum brownies. You'll see most of my breads don't have just wheat. They'll have, they'll have you know, millet, they'll have buckwheat, they'll have rye, they'll have, uh, you know, some, some of my breads have beans in them. There is something essential about bread, something simple. The miraculous process of bread. This is just the experience of a soul in this world. Whether it's baking, whether it's praying, you know, on a prayer rug, whether it's walking through nature, whether it's playing with children, this is the experience. Yeah, my mother, bless her, she taught me the most important thing. She raised me pretty much without religion, but she taught me how to talk to God. I'm really loving spending time watching my daughter grow. She's only a year old, but she has changed my heart. She's changed my life. She's become my teacher. So I love just spending time with her, playing with her. I love spending time with my wife. My wife's also very spiritual, so sometimes we don't say anything. We just let the nature do the talking and just be in the moment together and just hold hands and walk. We, we share life together. We bake together. <laughs> We're at work all the time, too. So, you know, she's my best friend. The baking is part of my spiritual path. The baking is my spiritual path, you know. 